Hi, and welcome to this webinar regarding Easy Fisi 5 Manager. I'm joined here by Morten. Hi, Jonas. Hi, Morten. Thanks for joining. Good to be back. The topic of today, Morten, is uh, the creation of shared mailboxes in hybrid environments. Right. When I was an admin, I used to create a lot of shared mailboxes, and uh, the process was to go to my uh, on-premise change server using the GUI, create a mailbox there, and then uh, migrate it to Exchange Online and convert it to a shared mailbox. So that's that's a pretty long process yeah. for just a simple mailbox. Mm. So the tool, EC365 Manager, how does this solve that problem? Uh, well, uh, I think the fastest way is to show it, so uh, let me fire up a demo. Ah, great, perfect. Right, so um, as you see here, um, I have a shared mailbox template, and I'm just going to copy that. Um, and um, what I will be doing here is I'm going to give it a name. We're going to call it sales, shared mailbox. I'm going to give it a login name. Uh, I'll go with the standard user principal name, and as you can see, the account is disabled, and that's what I want. I'm going to give it a password and create it. So now I have uh, on in my on-premises AD, I have the sales shared mailbox account. I'm going to go into properties on that one. And as you notice, I have uh, EC365 Manager installed, so I have these two new tabs, Office 365 and Mailbox. And what you mm. see here in the Office 365 tab is that uh, the account is not currently available in Office 365 because it hasn't been synchronized yet. And that gives me the opportunity to create it directly from EC365 Manager. I'm going to click on the Create in Office 365 button. And here I have a selection of choices. I can create a normal user, a room mailbox, an equipment mailbox, or a shared mailbox. I'm going to go with the mm. shared mailbox. Click OK. I have the opportunity here to generate email addresses based on all of my verified domains in Office 365 or just the, the default one. And I'm going to go with all of them. And uh, now the status changes to creating in Office 365. And well, quite fast, you'll see that the user account is created. I can see the licensing information and no licenses are assigned because it's a shared mailbox. And then when I go to the mailbox tab, uh, I can see that uh, something is going on here. It's not completely loaded but it's coming and there it is. So I also have the shared mailbox ready now in Exchange Online. Uh, and uh, I have uh, the opportunity here to immediately configure delegation. Uh, so for this particular shared mailbox, I would like uh, Lena to have uh, full access to the mailbox. And I would also like Lena to have send us permissions and perhaps I would like to save a copy of send as messages to send items and I can click OK and apply that. So uh, immediately I have the shared mailbox created. I have uh, the account in my Active Directory. It's synchronized to an Azure AD account and the account is configured with a shared mailbox. So uh, just to verify that everything is OK, I'm going to have a look at my on-premises exchange server. I just want to uh, stress that I didn't use the on-premises exchange server for this procedure and uh, I could very well live without it. So it's just uh, to verify that that uh, things are also looking fine uh, looking from the exchange on-premises server. So everything is going to be set up exactly as if you were using the on-premises exchange server, but you don't need it at all to perform these steps. If we take a look at the uh, exchange admin center, uh, I'm going to try and find my sales mailbox and I can see I have my sales mailbox created here also. So uh, yeah, that's that's it, Jonas. Uh, everything is uh, looking fine, I think. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty fast process. Yeah, wow. That, that was less than 30 seconds, right? If you did that, that in was real time without explaining. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Perfect. And, and also, uh, in my humble opinion, it's quite intuitive, you know, any uh, first level supporter can do this very easily. You don't need all the PowerShell scripts and the timing and the, the you need to go to the Exchange Admin Center, you need to go to uh, everywhere to, to, to configure different things. Everything is done from AD users and computers. Yeah, yes, very good, very nice. Thank you for detailing this feature, Morten. No problem, you're welcome. 
All right, great. See you soon. See you. Bye-bye.